Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Simon in the garage. Yeah, we're just coming up to Easter and uh, yeah, glorious sunny blue sky day. So we'll mess about in the garage this morning and then we can uh, get out on our bikes this afternoon. Um, Jake's just got his first car. He's not even 17 yet. And uh, quick, a quick distraction. What are all 17 year olds want to do? Paint their brake calipers. Coming it looking nice, Jake. Yeah. Hopefully it looks as smart in six months' time. Anyway, back to the real fun stuff. So yeah, just quick video on the um, I'm a little bit OCD with keeping my frames uh, kind of watertight. Um, so I guess when frames are made, there's all sorts of little holes and nooks and crannies that uh, um, I think they put holes in the tube so the gases can escape from welding. Otherwise, pressure would build up in the tubes and uh, kind of spoil the welds. Um, but uh, so I just run through a few little things I do just to uh, weatherproof your bike that work for me. Um, just running through, so one little easy little tip I do is, um, yeah, just get a little O-ring um, off of, uh, get these off eBay for pennies, um, so you can get masses of different sizes and thicknesses, so this is a 27.2 seat pin, uh, I think that's a 25mm um, O-ring, um, yeah, they can come off uh, eBay. Loads of them used for cars and plumbing. Um, so pop that on your seat pin, and that will. Um, any when you're riding the bike, and obviously water will land on your seat pin, run down. Or even if you're washing it, then it just stops the water going down the seat collar. Um, so not a massive issue, but for 10p, um, that's uh, worth doing in my book. Um, next thing round the back here again. Um, I guess this is, a, this is built as a gravel bike. Uh, most mountain bike manufacturers will put the seat clamp slot at the front so you get less muck thrown up thrown up from the back tyre. Uh, obviously Planet X have just kept it traditional around the back. So yeah, get yourself a selection of um, PVC electrical tape colours. Um, so the bike's green but that, that's yellow tape. So a little strip of tape up here a bit more around there in black and you've effectively yeah, sealed 99% of the muck and crud and water um, over there and it's really easy to cut a lump off, stick it on um, and yeah, okay, it doesn't look totally gorgeous I suppose but uh, uh, that's not bad for a, a quick fix. Next thing I do um, is yeah, all the, all the little threads and such like, um, they usually come with no bolts supplied. Sometimes you get a production bike, you've got, you got bolts in there. Uh, so sometimes you get bolts here, you rarely get bolts under here. Uh, but again, back onto um, eBay or similar, um, these are uh, button-headed Allen bolts, uh, A2 stainless steel. They come in all sorts of uh, lengths and threads. I think these are M5. Uh, most bikes have metric threads. Um, they're pennies, and if you pay a couple of pence more, they even come polished. I think if you can see them, this one. So um, I think motorbike enthusiasts and car enthusiasts uh, like the polished ones. So uh, I think some are polished and some are not. So yeah, anything that's threaded, I'll pop those in. Um, the other holes that you can um, cover up. So, again, it's probably going a little bit far, but um, yeah, if you're finding these little production holes, um, most bikes have got them, especially around the rear stays. So there's one just there. What I do is get some electrical tape, um, stick it onto an old piece of plastic, something that's fairly thin and not too sticky. Um, a couple of strips. Um, I happen to have some of these uh, what are called wad punches. Um, so I got a, f a set of them. This one doesn't match these holes, but you can see the holes I've done. Um, you just punch out the um, punch out the size disc that you need. So for covering small holes, then it's these little ones. Um, you can pick the tape back off. Um, so that one's had one tape picked off, and then just put it back over the hole. 
Uh, yeah, and if you've got a nice match on your colour of your, your tape, you've covered the hole, it's not a permanent solution, you can pick it off again. So if you're having your bike, the bike resprayed, you can pick them off. Um, I've seen some bike mags have suggested, uh, I think Cycling Plus, they suggested putting in matchsticks with glue and then cutting them off. Like, really? I don't know, I'll stick to my little discs of sticky tape any day. Um, last but not least, um, not so important from a carbon fibre fork perhaps, but uh, yeah, those of us who have had steel bikes in the past um, and aluminium, I suppose, which have got this, have got aluminium steerer. So you've got a hole up there where your steerer tube goes. Um, and especially if you're not running with mud guards, then that hole will uh, fill up with moisture, crud and muck. Um, not so important down the bottom, um, but yeah, over time then you've got your star and that washer up there with your threaded headset, uh, um, how, you, how you adjust the, the headset, etc. So a little simple way of keeping that tidy is get yourself a piece of old foam, something something like this um, it comes in all sorts of shapes and sizes or packaging even um, cut a circle out a little bit bigger than the diameter of the hole uh, and because it's soft and squidgy you can ram it up there and give yourself a nice permanent solution um, but again it's easily removable it's not glued in it's just held in under pressure and I've been doing that for years and they stay up there then just by themselves just because of that compression fit um, you need to make sure you're using closed cell foam so the sponge you wash your car with is no good because that um, lets the water through of course it absorbs water this stuff is squishy but it's closed it's closed cell so stuff like camping mats i mean don't go and cut your camping mat up specially of course but uh, stuff like that um, is ideal um, one last thing which is what i do for uh, cable rub so not weatherproofing the bike but uh, um, yeah you can buy all sorts of uh, patches and stuff uh, and again they're, they're great I've had success with them um, what I tend to do which is a more economical solution and you can customise it a bit more uh, is to get yourself some helicopter tape um, off off eBay comes in all sorts of strips and or shapes and sizes um, but again you can beauty of this stuff is you can cut it with, with um, with the wad punch or scissors, any shape you want. So punch out a couple of shapes, stick them on there, and they, um, they're pretty much invisible. Obviously being transparent, you can barely see them. Um, so uh, they work well. Oh, and I made my own. Um, the fan didn't come with a chainstay protector. Um, the light's a bit harsh down here, you probably can't even see it. Uh, but there's a homemade chainstay protector on there. Um, helicopter tape comes in different thicknesses. There, you can just about see it now. Uh, that's probably one of the more thicker ones, so probably getting on for 300 microns. Um, so, a little bit of heat from a hairdryer, not too hot because it goes really soft and under heat. But you can see the S shape, um, kind of chain stay there. Okay, get, the light's a little bit harsh, but uh, yeah. Get one of your kids to uh, point the hairdryer on there, just to warm it up a little bit, and you can get that on there. It, it does stretch, so I'd say cut it about an inch short from the chainstay. By the time you've gone from one end to the other, it'll be perfect fit. So that's it. So a couple of little tips there for you, which you might want to try. Cost you very little, um, but are quite effective uh, and non-permanent if you don't like them. Right, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.